Dennis O'Rourke. Mr Speaker, I will agree with um, Mr Clendon on one thing, and that is that this, uh, the original legislation should have gone through the Justice and Electoral Committee, which does specialise in this kind of legislation. I think it would have, would have uh, without any, intending any, any criticism of the Social Services Committee, it is not uh, used to, as used to dealing with this sort of legislation as the Justice and Electoral Committee does. And uh, I think if that had been the case, it may well not have been necessary to have this amendment bill here before us today. But that's, that's uh, water uh, under the bridge. Uh, we can't go back and change that. What we do have to do is to put things right. But I do want to uh, disagree with uh, Mr Clendon on his comments concerning human rights. Not because human rights are not an issue here. Of course they are. And to impinge upon human rights by creating a register for one section of, this, of society certainly is a very serious matter. And New Zealand First has a long history of protecting the human rights of people of all kinds. But this particular infringement, if I can put it that way, on human rights is actually justified. That's right. And when it is justified, properly justified, it is always acceptable to limit human rights reasonably in relation to the harm that the group or person may do. Yeah. So there's a balancing effect to be, to be put in place here. And I think that the original legislation actually does do that. All it does, after all, is to create a register to assist the police and corrections to monitor the people who are subject uh, to, the, to the registration. And that actually helps the people themselves as much as it helps the community. So I think that the benefits gained in this case by registration far outweigh the human rights limitation which would be imposed in the circumstances. And I also want to say this, uh, Mr Speaker, that New Zealand First has an absolutely zero tolerance approach when it comes to child sex offenders. And we will do whatever it takes to make sure that their offending is absolutely minimised. And that's why we supported the original legislation and why we, we will support this amendment bill. Um, after all, it is only a system of, of registration, and we sh I think it's got the potential to be effective, and if even if it's only a, as little, only, only effective in a, in a small, to a small degree, it would still be worth having. We must do all that we possibly can to minimise child sex offending in the community, and a system of monitoring and registration for that purpose is justified, and I don't think there is any good argument why that shouldn't happen. So we don't, we don't accept the Greens' position uh, against registration in the first place. We think it's a good thing and it should happen. And after all, this particular bill only uh, applies to amend the re retrospective application of the Child Protection Child Sex Offender Government Agency Registration Act 2016, so that all child sex offenders will be registrable, registrable as intended under the Principal Act. And that Act, under that Act, it was intended that uh, registration would be for all offenders subject to uh, imprisonment. Um, to include post-sentence orders relating to qualifying offences and those yet to be sentenced when the Act came into force, who would have been registrable offenders if they had been convicted after the commencement of the Act. It was intended to do all those things. But it's now been revealed, to my surprise, I might say, that that legislation was thoroughly defective. And there are, in fact, three groups which are identified in the bill, and I'm not going to go through all of them, three groups uh, which are not covered. And they number, a, a, we are told, approximately 130 individuals. And that's a very serious issue. That's a significant number of people who should be under the Act. So New Zealand First certainly does want the Act amended to correct this, because it's important that child sex offenders who are serving a qualifying sentence or are still subject to any conditions or requirements relating to that sentence 
or were yet to be sentenced for a qualifying offence when the Act came into force on the 14th of October 2016, must go on to that uh, register. Must go on to that register. And, Mr Speaker, there's a need to bear in mind that the purpose of the Act in the first place is only to, to provide police and corrections access to uh, personal information which will make it possible for them to proactively monitor individual child sex offenders' risk of reoffending while in the community and provides an opportunity for the sharing of registered child sex offenders' personal information with other government agencies. And the point here, Mr Speaker, is that that will assist greatly those agencies to carry out their duties in terms of uh, monitoring offenders in the interests of public safety. So the importance of that cannot be uh, more greatly emphasised, could not be overstated. We're talking about the safety of our children, and we're talking only about registration, which is a relatively minor infringement of individuals' personal rights, of which the benefits uh, greatly outweigh. And so we, as, e as MPs, uh, Mr Speaker, must be vigilant to make sure that the law which was intended to, to operate, as in the principal legislation, actually does operate in the way that was intended. We have found that it does not. This bill is absolutely necessary to correct that, and New Zealand First will therefore have no hesitation whatsoever in supporting it. Jonathan Young.